The last trial for blasphemy in the United States was over 160 years ago. On October 13, 1886, C.B. Reynolds was arrested in Morristown, New Jersey, for publishing a pamphlet describing the God of the Bible as a vicious, petty, and vindictive. He was charged under a law against blasphemy. Robert Green Ingersoll volunteered to defend him. I will re be reading excerpts from his closing arguments in the case. Now, what's the relevance of 160 year old, uh, something that happened 160 years ago? Well, I chose this because in July of this year, Ireland passed a law making blasphemy a criminal act punishable by a fine of over $36,000 and the forced seizure of any written materials that the convict may have, wherever they may be. Robert Green Ingersoll. Gentlemen of the jury, I regard this as one of the most important cases that can be submitted to a jury. It is not a case that involves a little property, neither is it one that involves simply the liberty of one man. It involves the freedom of speech, the intellectual liberty of every citizen of New Jersey. The question to be tried by you is whether a man has the right to express his honest thought. And for that reason, there can be no case of greater importance submitted to a jury. And it may be well enough for me at the outset to admit that there could be no case in which I could take a greater, a deeper interest. For my part, I would not wish to live in a world where I could not express my honest opinions. Men who deny others the right of speech are not fit to live with honest men. I deny the right of any man, of any number of men, of any church, of any state, to put a padlock on the lips, to make the tongue a convict. I passionately deny the right of the Herod of authority to kill the children of the brain. If there is one subject in this world worthy of being discussed, worthy of being understood, it is the question of intellectual liberty. Without that, we are simply painted clay. Without that, we are poor, miserable serfs and slaves. If you have not the right to express your opinions, if the defendant has not that right, then no man ever walked beneath the blue of heaven that had the right to express his thought. I'll never understand why people don't get out of the way of emergency vehicles. <laughs> if others claim the right, where did they get it? How did they happen to have it? And how did you happen to be deprived of it? Where did a church or a nation get that right? The most important thing in the world is liberty. More important than food or clothes more important than gold or houses or lands, more important than art or science, more important than all religion is the liberty of man. If civilization tends to do away with liberty, then I agree that civilization is a curse. Gladly would I give up the splendors of the 19th century. Gladly would I forget every invention that has leapt from the brain of man. Gladly would I see all books ashes, all works of art destroyed, all statues broken, and all the triumphs of the world lost. Gladly, joyously, would I go back to the abodes and dens of savagery if that were necessary to preserve the inestimable gem of human liberty. 
so would every man who has a heart and brain. What is blasphemy? I will give you a definition. I will give you my thought upon this subject. What is real blasphemy? To live on the unpaid labor of other men, that is blasphemy. To enslave your fellow man, to put chains upon his body, that is blasphemy. To enslave the minds of men, to put manacles upon the brain, padlocks upon the lips, that is blasphemy. To deny what you believe to be true, to admit to be true what you believe to be a lie, that is blasphemy. To strike the weak and unprotected in order that you may gain the applause of the ignorant and superstitious mob, that is blasphemy. To persecute the intelligent few at the command of the ignorant many, that is blasphemy. To forge chains, to build dungeons for your honest fellow men, that is blasphemy. To pollute the souls of children with the dogma of eternal pain, that is blasphemy. To violate your conscience, that is blasphemy. The jury that gives an unjust verdict and the judge who pronounces an unjust sentence are blasphemers. The man who bows to public opinion against his better judgment and against his honest conviction is a blasphemer. Whoever increases the sum of human joy is a worshiper. He who adds to the sum of human misery is a blasphemer. What is holy? What is sacred? I reply that human happiness is holy. Human rights are holy. The body and soul of man, these are sacred. The liberty of man is of far more importance than any book. The rights of man more sacred than any religion, than any scripture, whether inspired or not. What light is to the eyes, what love is to the heart, liberty is to the soul of man. Without it, there come suffocation, degradation, and death. Without liberty, there can be no worship. There can be no hatred, no justice, no progress. Take the word liberty from human speech, and all the other words become poor, withered, meaningless sounds. But with that word realized, with that word understood, the world becomes paradise.